Hey guys, TKC here with the second deck that I brought to Kaijiro League this week, which is week two in Kaijiro League. This deck is a Dawn Control build. It is Light, Water, Darkness, Fire, using Keeper of Dawn to recycle the spells that you use in the game. And, you know, just keep on using them. Keeper of Dawn. This deck has a lot of spells, so really good stuff. So for turn two, we got three. Sunstalk Seed. Uh, early blockers, very good stuff. Um, I'm not using any of the water blockers because I don't like the fact that they can't attack creatures at the very least. Um, so I'm only going to be using these three. Skeeter Swarmer doesn't really have any place in this deck because there's so many good darkness cards in here that there's just not enough room for Skeeter Swarmer or else I'll have way too many darkness cards to actually make four civilizations work in a deck like this. So, yep, just the Sunstalk Seeds. For spells, two Spectre Claws. Um, this could easily go up to three, um, but uh, it, for the meantime, two did its job. And one Dark Return, I feel that two, I think, is a bit too much, especially in this kind of deck, because you have Keeper of Dawn to just recycle them. This card won me a game today, like a really crucial game, and it was really awesome. I like Suicide 2 Bull Tails or something, and I had already used this Dark Return before, so then I used Keeper of Dawn to get back this Dark Return, then I used Dark Return to get back Bull Tail, and then next thing... Next turn, sorry, I went in with the Bull Tail and a bunch of other stuff. So Dark Return's a very good card uh, for getting back those creatures that you really need. And you don't really have time to hope to draw your other one. Or if you're only using one, you can get it back when you need it. So for turn three, two Scarador will Gloom Hollow. Such a good card. I mean, it just kind of sits there against level four or less. Really, really good stuff. This card has been doing so well in a bunch of different places. So, uh, Scared Orville, very good stuff. Shuts down Gill Flame completely. Like, nothing happens to Gill Flame, nothing happens to Scared Orville, nothing happens to your shield, or whatever. It just kind of blocks, and then bam, nothing happens. And then when they try to kill this with anything that's level 4 or less, it just still sits there. So they have to get, you know, level 5 or higher, or removal for this. So that's very good stuff. Because I don't have 3 of those, and also because I think... By using three of these, I'd have also way too many darkness. I decided to use the second best blocker ever, Star Lantern. When this blocks, you tap something else on the field, so it's very useful, and you can get rid of the creature that you tapped. Very awesome stuff. Lastly, in the level three creatures, only using one promo Aqua Seneschal, because, um, you know, control is not really supposed to attack too early, and level three, it's not... Um, I don't know, you don't want to attack that early with this, but it's really nice late game when you attack with this and then like just get a, an extra card for fun. Um, not really for fun, but it, like it could really be useful later in the game, so one's alright, and it's a good filler because there, there aren't a lot of good water cards in this deck. Well, there are, but there aren't like a lot of different ones, so uh, I have to find ways to add more water cards to the deck, and Aqua Seneschal was one of them. Good stuff. And of course, you gotta have the three logo scan drawing you two cards, thinning through your deck. And for level four, three promo fumes. Mmm, uh, this might be a bit too overkill, but I just love summoning fumes and getting that plus one right there. I don't know, I just really like this card. And now that I have it all promoized, I like it even more. Unfortunately, I don't have Razor Kinder Puppet, so this is probably why I'm running three. Um, my level 6s, you know, aren't too high. I don't have too much stuff going on in level 6 besides, like, two really big spells. Uh, so Fumes, uh, you know, f kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of replaces Razor Kinder Puppet because I don't have any still. So, yeah, Fumes is good stuff. One Keeper of Clouds, you know, just to mess around with this guy. Uh, it's also a pretty big blocker. Uh, also, this card right here, Bone Blades, is... I don't want to say, like, not it's not getting worse, but it's like it's seeing a little bit of a decrease in play because of the prominence of Hyperspeed Dragon, and that's level 5 and stuff. Like, level 5 is getting a lot more important than level 4, so uh, level 4 or less, you know, it's still really good, but you don't want to have it all the time and have 3. Um, so uh, Keeper of Clouds being level 4 and 5,000 is not a huge deal. Still dies to Tornado Flame Calm Missile and a bunch of other stuff, but even then, it's just nice to have that extra little blocker just in case. And uh, yeah, these other cards are in the deck as well, surprisingly enough. Uh, Gill of Flame, just one. Nice removal card. It's a nice finisher as well. Good stuff. You could search this out with Crystal Memory if you really need it <laughs> to win the game. So it's, it's pretty cool. I like the whole toolbox kind of thing about this deck, how you could just kind of put a lot of one-ofs and then get what you need whenever you need it. And then two Bone Blades. 
very nice just to have more removal for the cheaper stuff. Like uh, Scarador, well, it's nice to kill them. Um, one spy mission, just to have that nice little bit of extra draw. And I needed more level 4s and more water cards. So this was the other filler water card, you know, just to draw more cards. And it's another Shield Blast. I think this deck has like 19, 20 or so. So you get Shield Blast quite often. And one Crystal Memory, mainly because I don't have another one. But I am going to be getting some more later on. So maybe the Spy Mission is going to be replaced by another Crystal Memory. But I'm not really sure yet. Depends. So now for level 5. The namesake of the deck, Keeper of Dawn. Recycling your spells. Good stuff. Don't really need to explain that. Uh, two Reference Durgle because they're awesome. We'll look at your top four cards of your deck and choose whatever you want. Um, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's broken but because now we have like Crystal Memory to search what we need. But Reef Prince is very nice. It's a creature that gets you one of like the best card out of your next four. The only downside is that they go to the bottom of the deck like usual, but you know that's not a huge problem. Uh, three Tornado Flames because Hyperspeed Dragon is a thing, and a lot of other cards are a thing at five thousand or less. Uh, you know it just kills a lot more stuff, and it's a fire card, so good stuff. One Thought Probe. I took the Thought Probe just for fun, and. Uh, the only time I actually got it off, it only drew me two, but uh, I needed I needed that extra two cards, so good stuff. Actually, it was probably in my shields. I don't think I hardcasted this. I'm pretty sure I had it in shields, so you know, free two cards, why not? Uh, but this could have potential when they have a bigger field. You know, it's probably really good in the control mirror match. You know, tons of creatures on board. Play this, draw a lot of stuff, play them. You know, things like that. Uh, for level six, one dark scare adorable. Um, I originally had two in here, but I forgot what I took it out for. Oh yeah, I know what I took it out for. Um, but anyways, Dark Sky Adorable, it's really cool. I can just kind of put it here, and then bam, you're breaking a shield automatically, and then it can break two more. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I don't think it needs to be more than... It could be two, used at two, but I think three, it, mm, it's a little bit too overkill, unless you're using maybe a, a water dark control deck. But this has a lot of sieves in here, and you really don't have too many uh, card room to put more cards in just one. And as for the level sixes, uh, the other level sixes, sorry, I just like blurbed that. I don't know what I said there. Uh, three Barrage and two Storm Spark Blast. I noticed in CVH's deck he did the opposite, but, um, you know, Rush is starting to be more of a thing. And Barrage just kind of destroys a lot of stuff. I mean, it doesn't destroy Gill of Flame and stuff, but it destroys like literally every other card in the Rush deck. So uh, Barrage is very, very useful. Storm Spark Blast. Um, I mean, if I had room, I'd be using three of each probably without even thinking about it. But uh, this control deck, I wouldn't say has a lot of creatures that are powerful. I mean, it has its finishers. It has a lot of 4,000s and stuff. But uh, like, if you're using this against a control mirror, uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain, I guess. But I think more than two is not as needed. But mass removal is really good. Like, i rather have actual removal instead of, you know, tapping. But uh, it depends, I guess. That's just my preference. Uh, two Razor Kinders for level 7. Summon and Banish something. Very useful. It's still very useful. Uh, it really shouldn't be used more than two now. Um, but, yeah, very good stuff. And, of course, the three Terror Pits also at level 7. Also really good stuff, banishing whatever you want. Level 8, got two Bolt Tail Dragons. Really good finishers. Um, I was talking with a guy at the store who actually plays Kaijudo, and he doesn't like this card. He says, I mean, it's like, oh, you know, level 8, it's fast attack, you double break, but, I mean, there are things at level 4 that do the same thing. But he doesn't understand that Bolt Tail has 2,000 more power, and this is pretty much like a finisher killer. There aren't too many cards that are, you know, higher than 7,000. You know, Grand Gur, like the blocker kind of cards do. But there are anything else than that, um, don't really have that much. So it's really nice to have this late game to swing at shields or to get rid of big things that you end up tapping with Storm Spark or other kind of threats like that. It gets rid of tapped Scare Adorable of Gloom Hollows. Like, it does a lot of things. And, you know, Bull Tail definitely deserves at least two spots in here. Level 8, Skull Shatter. Good stuff. Banishing their whole hand, pretty much. Not banishing, but just discarding their whole hand. And uh, you only need one in this deck because you could always get it back 
with the Keeper of Dawn, but, you know, once you use it once, they're not going to be getting a bigger hand again unless you're against another control deck. Um, so you want to get this off as soon as possible if you have it mid-game, so good stuff. And lastly, I had to use one of these just for the lols. More of the Vengeful. Fun stuff, you know, banishing to 4,000 or less. It's so worth it. It's level 9. It's a finisher. It's mass removal. Good stuff. Like, I'm actually thinking about running two of these. Not in this deck, but maybe like a Water Dark Fire Control. I would probably use two of these because I don't have access to Storm Spark Blast and stuff. So, and I don't have access to Keeper of Dawn. And this is a creature, so you can't get it back unless you use Dark Return. Um, so, I'm, I'm actually thinking of using two of these. I don't know. I think it'd be fun. So, that deck profile is way too long. It's like 11 minutes or so. So I'm going to stop talking about random stuff. Let me know, guys, what you think about this deck. I, I had a lot of fun with this deck. Um, it, it, like, the matchup with this deck and the Rush deck was, you know, quite even, I guess. So, uh, yeah, very, very good decks. I love these two decks. This one and the Rush deck that I showed earlier. All right, guys, TKC here. Sign off. Hope you enjoyed the deck. Morna for the win. All right, guys. Bye-bye.